So the acting Harris County Elections Administrator Beth Stevens spoke with ABC 13 this afternoon saying efforts are well underway to ensure November's midterms are done fairly. Now this despite the fact that Clifford Tatum, who was announced yesterday as the new elections administrator after the resignation of Isabel Longoria, isn't expected to take over until at least next month. Our Chas Miller spoke with Stevens explaining when Tatum is expected to start. When it comes to credentials, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo said Clifford Tatum's resume shows he's the man to replace Isabel Longoria as Harris County Elections Administrator. He works um, elections in D.C. right now, but he was the interim secretary of state in Georgia. He had a high level position there as well, and he's worked for the federal government advising elections officials all throughout the country. Um, and he was selected through a very thorough process, weeks long process. Hidalgo is one of the five members on the Harris County Elections Commission, which also includes both county party chairs. They unanimously chose Tatum over one other finalist yesterday. As far as his job duties go, the county's acting elections administrator, Beth Stevens, outlined what he'll be doing once he takes over. So the elections administrator's office does everything you can think of related to an election. And so we handle voter registration, vote by mail, we handle getting election equipment, finding voting locations, um, basically everything you can think of A to Z related to elections. Prior to 2020, those jobs were split between the Harris County Clerk's Office and Tax Assessor Collector. While Tatum isn't expected to start until at least next month, Stephen says the county is already hard at work on midterms and ensuring the election process is by the book. And we have lots of projects in the lead up to November, making sure that, that everything is buttoned up, um, meaning that we have our election workers staffed, trained, um, trained especially on making sure that voters are coming through the process, having a good experience, but also having the correct experience that they're supposed to have when they go vote. 